Hi friend, I am Rajdeep Acharya. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to teach you that how much marks required to qualify CSIR NET Life Science to get JRF. So let's get started. So basically, we know that the CSIR NET Life Science question paper divided in three group. Group C, Group B and Group A. Okay friend? And basically, Group C contain 75 question, Group B contain 50 question and Group A contain 20 question. And basically, each question from Group C carry 4 marks, each question from Group B carry 2 marks and each question of Group A carry 2 marks. Okay friend? Now, suppose you attend a wrong answer from group C then there will be a negative marking of minus 1 for group C. The negative marking for group B is actually minus 0 0.5 and the negative marking for group A is actually minus 0 0.5. Okay friend? So you have to choose each question very carefully because there is also a negative marking for each question. So in my opinion, you know that group C contain 75 question. But in my opinion, you should attend minimum 22 question and maximum 24 question from group C. And in case of group B, my opinion is that group B contain 50 question, but you need to attend minimum 20 question and maximum 22 question. In case of group A, group A contain 20 question, but in my opinion, you need to attend a minimum 8 question and maximum 10 question. Okay, friend. So let's talk about the marks calculation. Okay, friend. So Suppose you attend minimum 22 question and each question carry 4 marks then you will get 88 marks from group C. Suppose you attend 20 question only 20 question among 50 question and each question carry 2 marks then you will get 40 marks from group B and suppose you attend 8 question. I mean 8 question from 20 question, minimum 8 question from 20 question. Each question carry 2 marks, then you will get 16 marks. So now 88 plus 40 plus 16 equals to 144. This is actually enough, this marks is enough to qualify CSIR net life science to get GRF and a good rank. Okay friend? Now, let's talk about the maximum number of question. Okay, friend. So, basically, suppose you attend 24 question from group C and each question carry 4 marks. Then you will have 96 marks from group C. Suppose you attend 22 question, maximum 22 question from group B and each question carry 2 marks. Then you will have 44 marks. Suppose you attend 10 question from group A and each question carry 2 marks. Then you will have 20 marks. So 96 plus 40 plus 20 equals to 160. Okay friend, 160 and 160 is enough to qualify CSR net life science exam to get GRF and a rank. Okay friend, so now Let's talk about the wrong question. So suppose you attend four wrong question. Suppose you attend four wrong answer among 24 question. I mean among 24 or 22 question. Okay friend. So you know that each question carry four marks and also there is a negative marking minus one. So suppose you attend a wrong answer among 22 question or 24 question there will be a deduction of minus 5 
why 5 4 plus 1 why 4 plus 1 because 4 is that each question carry 4 marks and there is a negative marking for wrong answer minus 1 so 4 plus 1 is actually 5 so suppose you attend 4 wrong answer among these 22 or 24 question then there, then there will be a deduction of minus 20 suppose you attend 6 wrong answer among 20, 20 or 22 question then there will, there will be a deduction of 15 6 and each question carry 2 marks and the negative marking 0 0.5 so you are going to lose 15 marks and suppose you at I, I, you attend two wrong question two wrong answer among eight or ten question then there will be a deduction of five marks two two why two because each question carry two marks and 0 0.5 is actually the negative marking 2.5 2.5 into 2 equal to 5 so in this so 20 plus 15 plus 5 is actually 40 so in respect of 40 i mean in respect of 144 if you deduct 40 marks from 144 then you will have 104 which is also a enough marks to qualify csr net life science so if you attend four wrong answer from group c if you attend six wrong answer from group b if you attend two wrong answer from group a you will there will be a deduction of 40 marks from the 144 marks and then you will get 104 which is also a good marks to qualify csir net life science and to get a rank and to get crf and now friend in respect of 160 if you deduct 40 marks from 160 then there will be 120 120 also a good marks to qualify csir net life science to get <coughs> grf and to get a rank so basically you can't attend five wrong answer or seven wrong answer or three wrong answer the maximum number of wrong answer that you can attend is four from group c six from group b and two from group a to get to get 104 or 120 so now let's talk about degree of error okay friend so basically degree of error depend on the wrong answer that you attend so suppose you attend four suppose you attend four wrong answer among 24 question you attend 24 question but in those 24 question you attend four wrong answer then four wrong uh, four divided by 24 into 100 equal to 16 16 percent to 18 percent 16 percent to 18 percent okay friend so this is actually the degree of error if your degree of error lies in between 16 to 18 percent i mean if you attend four wrong answer among 24 question that you have attend then it is okay you can qualify csr net life science suppose you attend six wrong answer among 22 question then the degree of error is actually 25 percent to 28 percent it is also okay you can qualify csr net life science and suppose you attend two wrong answer among 10 question then the degree of error is actually 20 percent it is also okay you can qualify csr net life science okay friend so basically suppose you attend five wrong answer suppose you attend five wrong answer among 24 then the degree of error will increase to 20 percent or 25 percent or 26 percent whatever else and then it will not be 16 to 18 percent then there will no chance for you to qualify csr net life science so basically the number of question that you can do wrong is actually 
I mean the number of question you can do wrong is actually 4 from group C, 6 from group B and 2 from group A. If you if you do 6 wrong question from group B and 2 wrong question from group A and uh, 5 wrong question from group C then there will be no probability for you to qualify CSR and NET. So basically before attending any question before selecting any answer you have to be very I mean you have to think very carefully that which question to attend which question you can do correct answer before because group C maybe group C has 75 question but each questions are actually very analytical group B contain very memorable question and group group A contain flat question ok friend so before attending any question before selecting any answer be very careful and now i hope i hope you are getting help from this lecture that how much question to attend minimum 22 to 25 i mean 22 to 24 from group c 20 to 22 from group b and 8 to 10 from group a to qualify csr net life science thank you so much friend for watching this lecture and in upcoming days we are creating more lecture on csr net life science to help you more subscribe this channel and also like this lecture thank you so much friend